Hey now, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and since the 2016 Oscars has come and gone, I thought, well, there were a couple of movies in the nominations and that won certain awards that I didn't watch. And I want to watch them. I want to see if they're just as good as this award show uh, hyped them up to be. Because, of course, my opinion counts for something. So why not start with the movie that won for Best Picture? Wow. Spotlight is a 2015 film that is based on true events where we see in 2001 uh, the Boston Globe editor Marty Baron, played by Leah Schreiber he comes in to give these four reporters uh, that they call Spotlight they're a group of guys who just tackle every project with precision like they're all about getting everything together before they publish a story well he wants them to tackle the Catholic churches in Boston. He wants them to not only prove that there is some fucked up stuff going on in the churches with the preachers and little boys, but not only that, they want to prove that it's the system, that it's the churches themselves that has this, this ongoing thing behind closed doors going on, and they want to prove it. They need all the documents that they can to prove this, and shed some light. Now, what I thought of Spotlight was, wow, this movie was amazing. It, it really was. And it's funny because I went into this movie. I started watching this movie a little tired. I admit that. I was a little tired, kind of a long day, a long night as well. So I, I was tired and I said to myself, I hope I can stay awake. I hope I'm not going to drift off because it happens once in a while. But this is a movie that, when you describe it, when you explain the plot, it might not sound like the most interesting thing. It's not action-packed. It's not crazy shit going on in that sense. But when you get down to what they're actually doing, when you get down to these reporters, let's, let's talk about some of the actors. We have Michael Keaton as Walter, who's kind of the head of the group. Rachel McAdams. Uh, and you have Mark Ruffalo, who, they're all great. The acting throughout the whole movie is great. But I need to say that Mark Ruffalo really blew me away. He stole the show. I, I completely get why he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor. He just, not only is he really passionate, really just pouring himself into trying to, find everything he can find out, talk to as many people as he can, gather as many information and, and testimonials as he can. But he also, he gets sort of desperate. Towards the end where things are looking rough and it doesn't look like uh, they're gonna be able to successfully publish this story with all the facts or before another newspaper place comes in and, and tries to steal the story. He really seems upset by this. He has this one scene where he goes off and he's so passionate and you just, you not only feel for the guy, but you feel for what he's saying. You agree with him and you're like, fuck yeah, man. Don't let any of this go unnoticed, unheard. And So again, great acting from everybody, but especially from Mark Ruffalo. But again, this is a movie that's just about these reporters doing journalism. <laughs> They're doing researching. They're going out there on the streets talking to people, trying to gather as much information as they can, trying to find these hidden documents that the churches are sort of keeping uh, closed off and in secret. And, and again, I don't know how interesting that sounds, but it was fascinating to watch. It really was. I don't know if it's... If it's the actors, if it was the writing, directing, or if it was just the subject matter. If if I was just so almost blown away by what this movie was about, by what not only they were trying to do, but what the movie was doing for me, sort of letting us know just how bad it is. Because look, how many jokes have you heard about preachers or pastors going around and and molesting kids and it's it's been a joke for a while and when you don't treat it as a joke and when you get down to the facts when you see just how 
fucked up it is, just how much it happens, how how many people are affected by it, and not only just in Boston, so maybe that too hits close to home. I'm from Boston, but when you see how much of a problem this is around the world, at the at the end credits they do this long list of of every city and state in the country that's affected and that has been proven to have situations going on in church. And then, just when you think that wasn't enough, they show the whole world, around the world, different countries where it's like, no, it's also going on there too. Fuck. I can't begin to describe how messed up it is. You know, I, I can't explain what's scarier, the idea that, uh, you know, that preachers are doing this or that churches know about this and keeping it quiet or the fact that there were people out there who were trying to bring this out that were trying to expose them but even some newspaper editors or newspaper people were, were keeping it quiet that it's just it, there's so many levels upon levels of, of things that you have to go through in order to get a story like this published and you would think it shouldn't be this hard maybe that too was also scary how hard it was for these four reporters to successfully do this and and I, I just again I was fascinated by this whole thing um, definitely enjoyed the movie I did I don't know what more I can say about it 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 definitely deserves the praise it's getting I I'm fully okay with it getting Best Picture. I very much am. And my rating. I know the movie, it's over and done with. I don't even know if it's in the theater anymore. But I would give it a full prize. Fuck it. Why not? It deserves it. I was fully engaged in a movie to where I was tired. But it kept me awake because I enjoyed it. Now, let me know in the comments below if you too saw Spotlight. What did you think of it? Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, later!